Um, wait for YouTube to finish publishing. Wait for YouTube just to finish publishing, and then I'ma go for it. Oop, we live, live, live. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, we live. We live. Oh, I don't lie when I say we live. Cause oh, we live, oh, we live, oh, we live. Cause oh, we live. Oh, we live, oh, we live, oh, we live. We are live. Hold on, let me, let me make sure I, I tell everyone. Look at me being coordinated. Shout out to my album that came out. Hey, bang. Hey. Hey, bay, bay. Come on. My phone acting stupid. Okay. Yo, yo, we live on Twitch. Don't snitch. Or snitch. Tell your friends. We live on Twitch. Let's go. I'm coming right now. All right. What's up, Devon? What's good, King? Yada, yada. A, the goat. <laughs> Asu, was good? We in here? We out here? Damn, we up 50 already. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm just getting things together. Uh, as you know, send your songs to help me Devon, mp3 at gmail.com. This is a video of me. Yes, it's a video of me. Okay, one second. Let me go to my other page. I'm just letting them know, and we're going to have a good night. We're going to have a great night tonight. Devin, what's good? Shout out to everybody that's in my Discord. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you see the new look? I got a new vibe going. Bro, I would love to send you a track to see where I'm at with my skills. No problem, Terrain. Like I said, send it to helpmedevonmp 3 at gmail.com. Whoa. Oh, posting this up. My day's going pretty good so far to whoever asked that. I really do appreciate you asking that. Uh, let me just get everybody to come up on here. Sw Twitch, swipe up. Swipe up. Oh. Okay, I'm letting everybody know we live on, on Twitch. Live on Twitch, you know? Don't be a snitch when we're live on Twitch. One second, coming right now, y'all.com slash help me Devon, because that's my name, mate. That's my bloody name, mate. All right. Dope, we're good to go. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys know it. What's the Discord? Can one of my great uh, HMD squad people please drop the Discord in the what you call it? I think I'm not, I don't have that option yet to like really just give it to people yet, but soon I will. Dad, I got stems for you. Why are you calling me dad? That why why am I being called dad? I have no children. There's nothing wrong with that, but I, I'm just saying I have no children. I'm reading. Uh I sent my daughter's song last night. Is your daughter's song? Wow. Do you mix your daughter's stuff or something like that? Like that's actually kind of awesome if you mix your daughter's stuff. Yo, what up? What up, T eleven? Make sure you follow us. Shout out to new follower Dirty Mixes. <laughs> that's a great name. Get in there, fam. Asu. All right, I'm waiting for someone to send me their mix. All right, did y'all send it? Help me, Devon, mp3 at Gmail. So, Dirty Mix, you sent something? Let's listen to Dirty Mix. Shout out to uh, Simit for dropping that Discord. I appreciate it. We, we were talking all night in that Discord. I had to fix some things in that Discord because we was getting crazy. Okay, so Dirty Mixes. Where's your mix, Dirty Mixes? Dang, Dirty Mix, what's your email? I don't know, what your, I don't know which one is yours. I'm going to type in Dirty Mixes. Let's see what happens. Dirty. Nope, nothing came up. Dirty Mixes. You might have missed out, brother. I don't see nothing from Dirty Mixes. Hey, shout out new follower, Queen Kita. What's up, Queen Kita? Uh, tat, tat Tasty Music? You just sent something? Yeah, emails don't match with your names. And then I don't know who's who. Make sure you put your name from this chat in the subject. Because I would love to just talk to you, like, you know what I mean? Like, as I'm doing it. Shout out Brutal Jumpers. Oh, our goal today is for 100 followers. We're trying to get 100 new followers today, by the way. You see that little follower goal right there? This is confusing. What the hell? Okay, yeah. That way. Get that. We're trying to get that. We're at 7 right now. Let's get to 100. Um, Just in something. Avi. Okay, Avi Ali. I'm going to go to Avi because I, I seen Avi. Thank you, Ali, for putting your name there. Oh, Avi, I know you too, bro. You always in the chats. Thank you very much. Avi is a big person in the Discord. I appreciate you, Avi. I'm, I'm thinking about making you a moderator because you're so active in the Discord. So I really appreciate that. Just throwing it out there. All right, I'm downloading Avi's uh, song. It's called Cinco de, so de Saucy. 
That's hilarious. Okay, first song of the day that we're testing out is Cinco de Saucy. Uh, letting this bad boy load up. This looks mighty loud. Looks great and nice and loud. Let me open up our tonal balance control and insight. If you're new here, what I like to do is I like to bring in your songs. I like to analyze them, look at it, check it for its loudness, check it for its uh, its balance, and just overall get some feedback back to these people. And um, you know, all I ask is that when we're playing everyone's song, just be very respectful uh, in a sense of um, let it play. Don't keep saying, oh, oh, I sent, I sent my mix while I'm like explaining the mix to someone else. So that's all I ask. Other than that, we're good to go. Let's check out Abby's mix. All right, let's do it. First song of the day. It's called Cinco de Saucy. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Hey. Is this a beat? I wonder if this is only a beat. It might be hitting the limiter a little too hard. Um, it's possibly hitting the limiter a little too hard. Let me look at this right quick. Uh, let me look at this again. It's a, it's a little bit too much low end, but let me tell you something. The low end, it, it knocks. Like, this shit knocks. Let me just do one thing for your low end right quick. Uh, if we just take a little EQ, right? on your low end and we just roll off some of that 20 hertz. Let's look at where your low end is hitting. If I bet you there's too much low end, like 20 hertz, like in that range. No, not even. Let me see something. That feels better. That feels a little better. Let me listen. Yeah, this isn't bad, man. Uh, honestly, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, I, I like how this all sounds. Um, but you, I think that's the one thing we do, do need to fix is just the low end. It's a little too much low end. Um, and that's it. Wavy Ali. Yeah, this is dope. Facts. This is OD dope. Dope track. Courtesy of our bass. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can hear it. Like I, I hear like a nice rumble on it. Like it has a really nice rumble on it. I like it. Shout out new follower, Scott Storch. That's not the real Scott Storch though, right? Let's, let's not gas me up. Um, I love it. Can I make my screen bigger? Uh, I, this is like a streaming screen, guys. Maybe I should, do you want me to go back? Hey, how do y'all like my new view? This is my new view. I, I set it up to be like more jazzy, you know? More jazzimatized. Hey, what's man? I'm good. Too much low end. Yeah, we just had to pretty much just roll off a little bit of low end, but nonetheless, you in the right direction. This sounds, it sounds dope. It knocks, it feels good. I would probably make this a little bigger in a sense of the stereo image, I probably try to spread some stuff out. Let me check something as a matter of fact. Check this out. Let me open up Vitamin right quick. I actually never use this plugin on this stream. It's only like my third day streaming. Uh, what I would probably do is I would probably spread out the um, the the middle a little bit or the high end basically. So check this out. <laughs> Open it up a little. Yeah. Do you hear the instruments? They open up a little. Look, without. I would open up the instruments a little bit. I'd widen this just a little bit. Let me see. This is me exaggerating it. Yeah, honestly, it's a master, so it's really hard to do that and really hear it. But I would widen the the highs and um 
and what's called somebody asked me what is vitamin oh my gosh vitamin is a sonic enhancer so how can i explain this to you okay better way is to show you so watch this, I'm gonna take all this stuff off. So long story short, in vitamin, it allows two things. It allows you to do stereo imaging as far as actually uh, going to specific bands. It lets you go to specific bands on any given sound source. Say for instance, the 100 to 500 hertz or 2000 to 3000 hertz. And it allows you to dial in a certain amount of width, whether you wanna make it more stereo or wider or more mono. And on top of that, it has these sonic uh, harmonic enhancers on it as well that you can uh, add some harmonics to it. If you don't have vitamin, boy, am I gonna blow your mind right now. Uh, obviously, this is a master. I'm not supposed to do this, but check, check out what it can do. Can you feel how much air just got added? Watch it. Added a sh crap load of air. Let's check this band now. Watch this. So obviously that was an extreme case that I was just showing you what it does, but that to your vocals and your beats, boy, it'll make your beat sound nuts if you do that. So check that out. The vitamin is OD sick. But uh, good job to Avi. I like the beat, man. This this beat is this beat is wavy. For real, for the beat is really wavy. I might hit you on the side for that. I might need that. All right. I sent the song through. Jay Sunny. I'm looking at you right now, Jay Sunny. Let's let's load you up, bro. One sec, Jay Sunny. Let me see. Hopefully you put your name in the description. Hey, Dirty Mixes. Hey, hey I found you, Dirty Mixes. Hold on. Let's let's play Dirty Mixes. I want to hear this Dirty Mix. This alleged Dirty Mix of yours. All right, one sec. Let's load it up. One sec. I'm loading up Dirty Mix's Dirty Song. Where is it at? Bad. It's called Bad. Ooh. Is it? Is this dope, though? That's what I want to know. Is it dope, though? Because here on the HMD, on the HMD channel, we keep it a thousand with you, brother and sisters. Shout out to any women in here. Shout out to women engineers, bro. Real talk. Because y'all are rare and, you know, it's, and y'all are super talented. I've worked with some of the best producers I've worked with were females. All right, you ready? So this is from Dirty Mixes. This is called Bad. Was that funny or no? Let's get this going. Okay, dark vibe, real dark. She bad, she can get it on her own Oh shit So bad, deep into her bones I love it Late night scene to get her gone This shit could be hard I just wanna get you alone, yeah Ay, Oh, you confident? I love the way you flying, it's so confident Okay, this is hard Yo, bro, this is hard <laughs> This is hard. It's just that low end. Um, this low end needs to be fixed. Straight up, we're being honest. This low end needs to be fixed. But this song is hard. <laughs> oh shit! Hold on. This is hard. You got too much. It's just too loud. Like the low end is too, is too much low end. So let's check out. Let's check out what the problem is. Let me. It's definitely too much. It's something in the low end is obviously too hot. Um, let me look at your 808s and stuff. One sec. Yeah, it's in this 100 hertz place. Let me see something right quick. Look at that. Do you see that one thing I did and it fixed it? Check this out. Look at that. Oh, you confident? I love the way you flying is so confident. Sorry, you know. Look at that. That's all you need to fix on this, is, bruh. That's all you need to fix. You need to take out, you got too much in this uh, 40 hertz range. You got too much over there. You need to pull out a lot of that stuff. Um, and that's it. But yeah, but you, do you hear the difference, uh, Dirty Mix? Like, watch this. Before, I'll keep bypassing it back and forth. Listen. Get alone, yeah. Look at that. Oh, you confident? I love the way you flying, it's so confident. Sorry, you know what you want in this obvious and then you're Much, much smoother Now also Dirty Mixes Just if you felt like, damn, but I missed that knock Guess what I'm gonna go to Get You guessed it, Smack Attack I'm gonna bring on this Smack Attack I'm gonna bring this right here I'm gonna add a, a little more my, my favorite preset 
This is my, I, I made this preset, by the way. You can get it at helpmedevon.info. All right, and check this out. Check what it sounds like now. I'm gonna bypass it back and forth with the smack attack on. Just wanna get you alone, yeah. Ay. Oh, you confident? I love the way you flying so confident. Sorry, you know what you want in the obvious. So obviously that's a master and I, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be putting that type of dynamic processing on top of a master. But you hear that I can get, you can get what I think you want out of this by just doing it this way. So awesome, awesome sound, man. For real, for real. Uh, I'm listening to Scent Mine, bro. Yo, we had 22 followers already. Let's go, man. Hit that follow button. We're trying to get to 100 before this stream is over. Uh, sent you an email, bro. I saw, I saw you nice. That's not fair, bro. I know you nice. I know your music. You produced for me already. Shout out Luke Balmain. Shout out Sam Skrilla for following. I'm shouting people out. Um, the song I sent you of my 10-year-old daughter, she's an artist. Uh, PA1 full time. Let me check you out. Yo, but I like that song. That shit was dope, bro. That was dope. That was a vibe. Uh, I'm looking for that guy. He just said that. What's his name? Paid, what's your name? Hold on, Drew Adams? Hold on, I got you, Drew Adams. Where you at, Drew Adams? D Drew Adams, did you put your name in the thing? No, you didn't. I can't find you, brother. Put your name in the subject. I always say, put your name in the subject. Because I don't see no Drew Adams. Uh, where do I send an email? What email? Uh, help me, Devon, mp3 at gmail. Dot com. Hey, a new subscriber. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what a new subscriber is. I, I'm new here. Hello. I can't get tips or donations or anything yet until, like, I, I have an affiliate. Shout out to Official Sean. So I guess we're just working for followers right now, which I appreciate you guys so much. Sent you a record. Theon. Let me look you up, Theon. We're going to Theon. Theon, I don't see your name, Theon. You guys have got to send, put your names in the description. If you, oh, I found you. Oh, you lucky. Oh, I found you, Theon. Oh, okay. Uh, Theon's song is called Good Love. Oh, is it an R&B record? Please be R&B. Because I'm an R&B guy, you know. Let me see. Let me see if we got a little R&B. I love hip-hop too. Don't get it twisted. Hip-hop is, is golden. It's my shit. But, you know, sometimes you just want a little vibe. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. I'm going for it. So now we are going to play this young man's record. It's called Good Love Mix. Oh, it's a mix too, isn't it? Ooh, do we have a mix here today? If this is a mix, I can master this. I can walk you through mastering it. Let's look. But it's an MP3. Mm, okay, let's look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Listening to it. This is from Theon. Oh, this is master. This is master. He about to make me cry. Look at you, babe. You're lovely. You're so soft, too, babe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Y'all are really Causes talented. Me to laugh. Down because I found you. Down because I won't find no one that compares to you. Yo, this is dope. This is dope. It's a nice, this a nice, yeah, this is dope. This is dope. Um, I already know what I would want to do to it. I would probably want to bring out some of that top in a little bit more unfortunately there's a lot of top in on that vocal but i think i would want to basically i'm looking to add some more excitement to the top end um the way i would do it is like this but you're you're good your levels look good uh everything looks pretty pretty straight um i would just do some uh, some minor things to the vocals oh crap oh i'm so sorry i had on the smack attack and the thing on him hold on Wow, so that was a smack attack on your thing. Uh-oh, the smack attack might be what you need to put on this. Hold on, let me listen again. It's just nice, man. Oh, 
yeah, my smack attack was doing a little too much to it. So yeah, this sounds even better without the smack attack, to be honest. I like it without the smack attack. So this is what I would do. I would probably add just a little bit of some analog saturation. That's literally what I would do. I'm gonna show you guys two different types of analog saturation, because I always show you that that uh, fat filter, and they, they're not, you know, obviously. They need to sponsor me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Foul filter, if you're watching this, you gotta sponsor me. I, 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 you know, I show you love every day. Every time on here, I show love. All right, cool. So now let's do this. This is another form of analog saturation I like to use. I like to use the NLS uh, bus channel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up the drive to about four and I'm gonna leave it on a spike setting. Check this out. So without first. Add some a little more grunge to it. So it's a very slight form of analog saturation, but if you're listening to headphones or on monitors, it's a very, very slight bit of grit that I like that the NLS bus channel gets. Now let's do something a little more drastic, right? Analog saturation wise. Let's add a fab filter to it and let's get those top, that top in a little bit more exciting. So fab filter Saturn, boom, that's right here. And what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to find the right tone first. So check this out. I like that tone. Now I'm gonna bring down some of that high in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. Look what this analog saturation did. I'm gonna put, take both of them off. So without first, and then look, I'm gonna do this. Boom, 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 boom. So without first. A little more full. Look at that. See? Just the way I like it causes me to laugh. Down because I found you. Look at that. And that's just adding a little bit of analog saturation just to add some excitement to that top end. And it made it dance a little bit. It more made it a little bit more appealing and a little more exciting. But the mix. I'm not mad at the mix at all. Um, really nice voice. You have a really dope voice. Uh, very uh, old school modern, like to me, R&B wise. I really liked it. Uh, that was Devon Anita Mass, the best for you in the thing. Levens, if Levens or Courtney is in here, I need you guys to pay attention to some of these people that I have in here that are really good. <laughs> uh, I need you guys to pay attention to them. And make sure you all join our Discord. Can someone drop the Discord in here right quick? And also make sure you follow us on Twitch. I request that constantly. Any R&B singers need beats? Look at you trying to sell beats in the in the DM in the what you call it. All right, did my thing freeze? I pray this didn't freeze. Oh fuck, it froze, didn't it? One second, y'all. I think it froze on 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 my end. Uh, one second. Let me just check to see on Twitch if it if it's if it's that way. One second, y'all. One second. I think it froze. God damn it. Jimbo, I see what you wrote, Jimbo, but on my end, it's it's no good. It's no good. Let me see something. Start replay buffer. Schedule stream. Record. Yeah, something's up with my side. It's like not grabbing the the chat, which makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. I see y'all. I see what y'all did. Damn. I see what y'all. I see y'all in here, but I don't see y'all on the thing. My bad, y'all. Damn, I don't know what to do on this. I don't know when to do when this happens. When I can't see not, like nothing on the chat is actually coming up for me on. Uh, y'all streams at all Like I don't know what happened chat box Damn it. I can only read your things here, and that's annoying to read it here. I See it, but damn All right, you guys I'll be back maybe Maybe I'll come back later tonight. I'm mad yo 
Yo, let me go curse out the stream labs right quick and figure this out. But I'll be back later tonight because I'm really upset. I was in a vibe. We were vibing, yo. Make sure anybody from that's watching on YouTube, my bad. If you're watching on YouTube right now, go on over to uh, come to my Twitch and press follow. Come to Twitch and press follow because I'll come back later tonight. But go to Twitch and press follow. We'll have a real nice late night session. But go to Twitch and follow me on Twitch. Also, somebody dropped the Discord. Um, drop the Discord in here so that people can see it. Uh, if not, the Discord is on my Instagram at Help Me Devon. You'll see it on the front of my thing. At Help Me Devon on Instagram, the Discord is there. Join our Discord, okay? And then everybody, just make sure you come follow us on um on Twitch. I'm tight right now. I was vibing. Wait, wait. Is it coming back? It says connecting to chat. Wait one second, y'all. Wait one second. Hold on. We might be good. Boom, da boom, dum, boom, 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 da boom, dum. Hey, we bet. Hey, we bet. Hey, we bet. We bet, we bet. All right, we fixed it. Stop playing with me. I see y'all now. Nate Forever, I see you. We back. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, damn it. F for shite. All right, who's next? Knock him up. Line them up or knock them down, as they say. All right, cool. We here. Shoot, I see y'all. j Hart just sent you email R&B joint called Sliding. Okay. He sent me an R&B joint called Sliding. I really like that song, though. Who, uh, the uh, uh, Trev, I like that. Somebody sent me something called Sliding. Let me look. Uh, I don't see somebody named Sliding. I see The Season. Somebody sent something called The Season, Hold Me Down. Ooh, it's a wave file. Let's go. All right. You're doing it right already. Yeah, Dula, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep this shit going. We got 33 followers. Let's go, Rari Rao. Thank you. I appreciate you for following. Okay, hold on. I'm loading it up. It's good now. Yeah, it's good now. It's good now. That's you. I am the season. Hey, season, you in here? Hold me down. All right, let's check you out, bro. Mm, bringing you in right now. Hold me down. Hold me down. Throwing it in. Okay, this master looks kind of nice, too. Hmm. All right, one sec. Let me up, up this a little. Let me. Oh, wow, my bad. Let me make sure I don't have anything on your thing. I might as well just leave it, right? Because I use this shit on everything. Ooh, vibes. I feel vibes. I feel vibes. I feel vibes. I feel vibes. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, look, hey. Feeling up, feeling down. Got a ring, girl, you deserve a crown. Always feeling better when you're around. You didn't have to hold me down. This is dope, this is dope. You didn't have to hold me down. No. Interesting. Wait. Wait, feeling up, feeling down. Got a ring, girl, you deserve a crown. Always feeling better when you're around. You didn't have to hold me down. You didn't have to hold me down. No. So your levels look good as far as everything where it's hitting and stuff like that. My big question to you would be, what is happening with your um uh you said this is a mix, but this is a master. Uh, when I look at this, this is a master. And the reason why I'm saying this is a master is because I can see it. it's peaking and basically hitting at negative 1.4. So there's a limiter on this. You have a limiter on this. Uh, what's his name again? His name is... Uh, what was your name? What's the name of the song? Hold Me Down. Damn, I forgot your name that fast. Yeah, there's a limiter on this. Bruv. HMD team, shout out No Tile NC. What's up, boy? There's a there's a limiter on this for sure. Um, hmm. what would I do to this? Let me listen to this right quick again. Let's listen from here. Let's get down. You didn't have to hold me down. No, wait, wait. Filling up, filling down. Got a ring, girl. You deserve a crown. The only thing I would want to do to this is open up the the high mids a little. That's it. That's it. 
I would open up the high mids a little bit uh, in that high mid section. I would spread that out just a wee bit just to open it up because it feels a little like like tucked into here. I would spread that one frequency band up out a little bit more, which I can actually show you. Shout out to whoever just followed. Sinso Jurarav, whatever your name is, Vitamin. I'm using vitamin a lot today. You see that? Like some days it just be like, oh yeah, I forgot. I can use vitamin for this type of stuff. So check this out. Check out, I can solo the frequency band to hear what it sounds like by itself. So this is his high mids basically, right? And I can open it up, make it wider. Look at this. We widen that, that band a little bit. Now watch, I'm gonna bypass it back and forth. Peek this. Before. After, you felt that? It opened? It opened up, now let's hear it in the music. Didn't have to hold me down. A little more no. open. Wait, it helped. Wait, filling up, filling down. Without got a ring, girl, you deserve a crown. Always feeling better when you're around. You didn't have to hold me down. You didn't have to hold me down. No, but you did, man. Dig it. Yeah. So that's the only thing I probably do uh, to that. I would try to widen that mid range, that high mid range, a little bit, uh, and that and that's about it. But yeah, yeah. I just said mine is who say so subtle, right? That's very very subtle, but it, it it helps a little bit. You know what I mean? Just with making it feel a certain way. Absolutely. Hey Devon, could you please check my mix? Of course I can. 17 year old mixing engineer here. My name is in the title. Oh, I gotta check out the 17 year old. I'm I'm sorry. And don't everybody, you cannot say you're 17, by the way. Don't start saying I'm 17. This this is the only 17 year old I'll play right now. I don't see that name. TST. Oh, TST. Oh, let me see TST. No, I don't see your name. I think you sent it to the wrong one. Help me, Devon, MP. Oh, I found you. Yo, my search is ass. Okay, cool. This is from a 17-year-old kid mixed this, so let's check him out. I'm going to be so rough. I'm going to be rough on you too, bro. All right, I'm kidding. Um, I'm 16. Look at y'all. See, I knew y'all was going to do that. Nope, no more 16-year-olds. Like, I'm 16. Nope. That's a dub. That is a dub. I do not have to listen to you anymore. That is a dub. All right, one sec. All right, cool, hold on. I'm bringing in his song. Let's move this out of the way. I've been using vitamin a lot, huh, today. All right, go here. I'm bringing in his song. All right, it's a good looking song there you got there. Shout out to Chi-Town Kid. What's good, Chi-Town Kid? What's up, son? All right, here we go. Listening to a six, a 17 year old kid mix this song. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Also in the Northeast, an apparent home invasion. Or husbands. We're for everyone here. Also in the Northeast, an apparent home invasion ends with a man shot to death in his living room. Investigators think they know the motive. Eyewitness News reporter. When they found a 21 year old man shot in his chest and neck. Police say he was lying on his living room couch when they found him, and they believe the shooting happened right there in the living room since investigators also found six spent shell casings near still you wake up from that call, I he just passed away. Ooh. How to get on my ass to go give me a back and stand away. Mm -hmm. Drip too hard, they stand too close, you go drown away. Hey. Only living one life, you gotta live right, so I roll by the dice. You do what you want, when you pop it, you fuck up a check, you gon' belly, gon' check on the price. My diamonds, that ice, you dig? I'm trying to live life for real. Can fuck with the mice for real. Fuck with my folks, you get poked for real. In the meantime, I'ma kick back, yeah, you know that a nigga ain't worried We fucked on now, I'ma keep going to the bitch be mercy I want what's best for you, tell me what you want I wish the best for you, wherever where you are This shit is crazy, they took my dog away Now he push daisies, please take the pain away, I said I came from nothing from the streets, I said Oh, you niggas got nothing on me, I said it Yo, this hard <laughs> Why is everyone do fire, yo? Come on, man. Make let make me work. Make me work. That was good. What was this kid? This the oh you 17? Nah, bro. Yo, leave it. Or or okay, anyone can sub make sure y'all get him in the Discord. It's the kid. His name is T T S T Y Music. T S T Y Music. You know a good way for me to really find you 
if you mention Help Me Devon on Instagram, we'll, I'll see that. Um, damn, I gotta find you. Come to our Discord. Just please, come to our Discord. That was dope. You 17? That's what's up. I sent mine is Robitussin. That was really dope. Drop the Robitussin. Thank you to drop the Robitussin. Thank you, Asu, for putting the uh, the Discord. Yo, that was really dope. Um, yeah, I would I, I would want to just boost some uh some hot some like some mids. There's some mid range things I would want to add to it. That's about it. Uh, other than that, I, I really like how it sounds. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I think you have a really cool sound. Uh, the bottom end was knocking. Your loudness was pretty good. Uh, you was hitting around the negative ten luffs. Uh, let me look at, let me look at, let me look at something right quick. Let me open up a mastering EQ right quick. That was dope. That was very refreshing. Shout out E L B Nevil. Uh, T Rex Master EQ. I have so many plugins, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Where is it? T-Rex. God damn it. Hold on. Master. Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. All right. I just want to boost some mids in there. So I'm going to find it probably in that 800 range. Let me see. Probably like 2 dB or a dB and a half. Let me see. Also in the Northeast. And Let me see. That intro, I didn't expect that from that intro. Eyes you dig. I'm trying to life for real. Can fuck with the mice for real. Look Love at that. Get poked for real. In the meantime, I'm going to kick back. Yeah, you know what that nigga ain't worth. Look at that. See what, the, see what boosting those mids did? I'm going to bypass it. Check this out. I'm gonna hit it back and forth. Checked out this this button right here. I'm gonna hit this button right here. So bypass first. Eyes you dig? I'm trying to life for real. Can fuck with the mice for real. Fuck with my folks, you get poked for real. In the meantime, I'ma kick back. Yeah, you know that a nigga ain't worried. We fucked on now, I'ma keep going to the bitch be mercy. I want what's best for you. Tell me what you want. I wish the best for you, wherever where you are. This shit is crazy. Really sick. I love that. And just boosting a little bit of that that mid-range at about the 840 hertz range uh, helped a lot. Honestly, I got that trick from Mixed by, I, I, well, not Mixed by Ali, but the mastering engineer that does a lot of Kendrick stuff. I got him, uh, I watched some stuff of his, and he likes to boost in that 800 hertz range a lot. And when I seen that, I was like, yo, that 800, I never really pay attention to it um, on the mastering side. But that side, that 800 hertz range in your master is a pretty dope range um, when it comes to, like, presence in the vocal. That was dope. Um, TST. That sounds great. I agree. Yo, hey, man, it sounds dope, bro. The song was great. Musically, you're dope. That was dope. <laughs> Yeah, I would buy that. Facts. Uh, Meek, Meek Strosity said I would buy that. Facts. I copped that shit too. That was hard. That was super dope. All right. Next up. TST, make sure you join the Discord. Please. I need to keep track of y'all. Leave-ins. I need leave-ins. Hold on. I, all right. Because some of y'all are really talented and I can't lose y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Leave-ins. Hop in the live so we can catch these talented individuals talented talented individuals all right uh shout out to anybody that watches my help me devon tutorial also i've been seeing a lot of you guys going to the store and copying the the templates uh the vocal chains the presets uh the studio rack preset everything i really appreciate you guys I, and i told y'all like I, I showed y'all live and i think that helped a lot of you guys realize like yo like I'm not BSing. Thank you, Dre OK. Shout out to Dre OK for dropping where to send the music. You sent me full stems, Devin? Oh, OK, hold on. If Devin sent me full stems, ladies and gentlemen, we have a night. OK, full stems, Devin. I will mix your entire song if you sent me full stems. Let me see, Devin. Let me see. OK, I see. Me oh, you sent me a, 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 a dot RAR? Smith and Wesson stems? Okay. Sounds really, sounds gang. Sounds really gang. All right, I'm downloading right now, Devin. Devin, if this, if I can open up these stems and I can put these in a, um, in a session, it's on. It's really on. So before I get to Devin's whole thing, I might be able to mix and master an entire song right now, which will be sick, and I hope I can. Um, but I want you guys, for the moment, let's do a little Q&A. Ask me any questions that you have as far as your mixes or something that you want me to explain. I'm opening his RAR. Uh, put this right here. Okay. I'm reading. To what I did wrong. Wide reverbs? 
Uh, I think it's I think a Y reverb is pretty easy to 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 come up with. Uh, if you slap a S1 imager on the end of your effects chain, you got a wider reverb. You know what I mean? I think that's pretty pretty easy to kind of do. Uh, my favorite stereo widening plugin is Doctor MS. Uh, I'll show you this plugin. Actually, hold on. Let me open his thing because his thing just finished. One second. Ho oh, I got. Oh wow, I have a session, ladies and gentlemen. All right, one second. Uh, how can I do this? Okay, import. One second, I'm opening up his session right now. We got a session. We're gonna have a live mix session right now. This is exciting. Cause I can go through so many different things and show you so many different things. Okay, we're converting it all. I'm importing. Processing audio. Boom, 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 boom. But um, yeah, when it comes to uh, stereo width, I love Dr. MS. Dr. MS is dope. Hey, Devon, should I level before I process or process first? You should level. First and foremost, you should level. Hopefully, if this mix is, is Gucci, I will show you exactly how I approach uh, all my mixes and how I go about this whole thing. All right, so I opened it up. All right, a few things that I do see. I see a master. One sec. Okay, so let's take this, this. Let's make it inactive. All right. Okay, I'm gonna guess he produces in Fruity Loops. Oh, excuse me, FL Studio, sorry. Don't mean to disrespect. Uh, and the reason why I know is because anytime I see inserts and I see mad different masters, I know that's what it is. One sec. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take all this stuff off, make it inactive. This shit sounds gully as shit, hold on. Okay, cool. So I got all this stuff. And I think we're good. I think we got a mix session on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I think I can mix this. Let me send all of this stuff out to my stereo input and stuff like that. I'm not gonna explain why I do this because it's a very Pro Tools specific uh, vibe, a uh, thing I do to do that. And all right, let's do this. Let's let's mix, y'all. Like let's let's see what we could do. So first and foremost. The first thing I do when I start a mix is I listen to what my my sound sources are. Granted, what I would really do is I press play, listen to the whole song. But for because of time and stuff like that, and just so I don't have it dragging on with you, I'm just gonna play each sound to see what is what, and I'm gonna label them. So first thing is organizing. I'm dead serious. This shit is detrimental, and a lot of you do not organize yourselves, and this is how you get lost, and the mix gets really messy. So first thing I'm gonna do is find my bearings and figure out what is what. All right, so... Here's this. So this is the instrumental. I'm gonna assume. Drop the beat. Hey, hold up. I ain't saying cone with soda. Ooh, this is in a can. Okay, cool. So we got the beat. Next thing we have is that man walking. You better expect it. Yes, I'm a savage. I never regret. Dope. That's the lead. Then we have this. I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Okay, ooh, fight you like Tekken. <laughs> See what you did there. All right, let me say lead two. Yo, Devin, you really have a voice. You have a very unique voice and a sound. I'm noticing this. All right, so I'll say, I'll call that lead two for now. Let's see the next thing. Hadouken. That's hard. Nah, I'm tight. That's hard. All right. So obviously that's called a sound effect. And I like to put my sound effects at the very bottom. That's how you usually like to do it. Next thing, we'll see what this is. What's this? Huh? Ad libs? Yeah. I am Lexus. Yeah. So this is ad libs. So ad libs. And let's see what this last thing is called or what it is right here. Uh <laughs> sound effect. Uh fire sound effect. I'm a I am gonna smoke this. I'm just letting you know, I'm gonna smoke this shit. All right, cool. So uh, I get super excited about shit like this. This I know I was destined to do this audio shit, right? Okay, cool, I get excited. All right, cool. So first thing first, the first thing I know to myself as I say to this, I say that beat sounds mastered, right? There's a limiter on that beat. So that's my biggest problem right now. So I have to be very careful with how I produce this or how I basically go about mixing this entire thing. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of gain staging. Um, watch how I do this. I'm gonna gain stage. So here's the beat. Let's gain stage the beat.
Oh, wow. Damn, this is too hot. I can't put a limiter on this. There's no way I'm gonna be able to put it at the end because look, look at look, look how it's hitting the the meters already, and it, and you you took the you literally took the limiter and brought it down to what you call it. Shit. Okay, hold on. Listen. All right, I'm gonna do my best. This honestly, I would I would send this back to you. Like I say, hey, your beat is too hot. It's limit. You have a limiter on it. I would ask for the beat back, not with, with without a limiter on it. I'm just gonna read a few things. Sorry, I'm a late teacher. I'm busy. The kids, but what what I miss? You funny. Uh, I can resend the beat. Resend the beat. Oh, resend the beat. If you can resend the beat, we lit. I'll wait. I'll wait for that. Cause I really want to give everyone a really nice tutorial. Like I finally want to give everyone a really nice walkthrough of how I approach the mix, the master, everything. That'd be really dope if we could do that in one full sitting right now. That'd be freaking sick. So Devin, send that to me. Um, I'm looking in my email right now for it. I'm waiting for Devin. We're waiting for Devin. Devin is gonna get us to the promised land. I'm waiting, Devin. I'm reading comments in the meantime. Hurry up, Devin. Do mine in the meantime. No, I'm not gonna load up a whole nother session in the meantime. I'll answer any questions you guys have. I'll answer any question right now. Oh, hold on, let me do one thing too. Uh, this is gonna be amazing. Do not miss out on this. This is gonna be incredible. Um, please, was it a bit bigger? If the main window screen was a bit bigger, that would be great. You know what? You know what? I got you right now. Somebody asked for the screen to be a little bigger. Let me see something right quick. Hey, is this better? Look. Look what I did. Look, I changed it. Does that make you happier? Okay, cool. All right, all right, I'll keep it here. All that fancy stuff, no one wanted that fancy stuff. I was like, get rid of that shit. All right, we back at it. I'll figure out a better, uh, what you call it, because I you do need to see my screen. I do want you guys to see my screen, so I get it. You're right. I'll figure out a better thingamajigamabobber. Uh, but send it. I send a Spanish banger much better. Look at that pretty face. <laughs> Yeah, right. Look at me. I look like I look like a bum right now. What do you what do you have on when you're recording? I have everything on. Everything. To people that say, "Oh, I don't record with anything on." That is gross. I record with a compressor with the tune on, with brightness, with satur I record with everything on. Pro Tools is better than FL Studio for what purpose? I will not say that, but I'll say if we're talking about recording, I'll do I'll Pro Tools all the way. Hurry up, um, Devin. You got you got two minutes, and then I'm gonna move on to someone else. I'm just gonna move on to someone else. Please make sure that you follow us. If you're in here right now, make sure you follow us, please. Uh, make sure you follow us. Make sure you hit that follow. Damn, I missed my other screen. My other screen was fire. My other screen was fire, though. Let me see if my alert box is there. Yeah, my alert box is there. Yeah, so make sure you guys follow. Can you mix a song? really well just using studio rack preset hell yes y'all want me to play with his vocal just with the preset right now nah i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that wait wait till you send me the beat i'm getting ahead of myself devin you have one more minute sweating bricks right now devin sweating bricks right now big facts you got one more minute and I, I'm, I'm just gonna move on because these people these fine people here right now, don't have time for any of this stuff. Hey, he said that, hey! Ah! Ooh, ah, 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 ah! Okay, he said it. Hi-yo, shout out to Uno the Beats. We were at 60 people too. We were at 60 new followers too, by the way. We're gonna hit our goal. We're gonna hit our goal. You know why? Because you guys are amazing. That's why we're gonna hit our freaking goal, man. All right, cool. Bringing in Smith & Wesson. Uh, 
I hope that this is bounced correctly. It doesn't look like it is. Um, one sec. Okay, let's take this off. Let's see if this is bounced correctly because it doesn't look like it's gonna line up with the rest of the song. One sec. Is that correct? I think this is correct. I don't think this is correct. Hold on, one sec. Yeah, this isn't correct. Wait. I pull up with Smith and Wesson. Woo! We better fight you like Tekken. Okay, hold on. Let me redo that, drag that from Ben, because it's not on the on the beat correctly. So Oh my god. Um Okay, this is what we have to do. Because okay, so long story short, what he did was he sent the beat, but it's not aligned properly. I'm gonna show you why Pro Tools is probably one of the greatest programs in the world for a lot of reasons. Now granted, you'll probably be able to do this in many DAWs, but this happens sometimes. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix this. I'm kind of scared because I don't know if I can do it. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab the Smith & Wesson beat again. So I'm gonna create a new track, stereo audio track. See, this is the things you have to do before mixing. I haven't mixed anything yet and look what I'm doing. Let's grab this again, move all this crap out the way, bring in the Smith & Wesson beat, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this here, and if I'm not mistaken, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at two things. I'm gonna look at the transient information, right? And I'm gonna use the transient information to match up the beats. So watch this. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna press the button called I'm gonna press the tab button and it's gonna put me right at the transient. I'm gonna make a splice there. Take this, tab it, splice there. Now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna move this bad boy right here. And I'm gonna line these two transients up because this is exactly where the beat is. So boom. All right, I'm good. Yeah, look, we're kind, it looks like we're kind of lined up now. So I'm gonna take this, put this back to the beginning. Okay, now at least I know I'm kind of on the same page as the other one, so let me listen to it now. One sec. So, mute this, bring this down. Let's put the output to the stereo master. And that's it. I'm doing freaking surgery right now. Listen, let's listen, let's, let me see something. Take like a F1. Take like a F1. Wait, what happened? Oh, sorry. Like a F1, I step Yeah, don't call me less. Hey, I'm not! Look at that. Shout out to Pro Tools. This is why I use Pro Tools. You saw what I just did. I, I literally, I did match it just now. All right, cool. We can mix. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna replace this with this right here. And we're just gonna say bye to the beginning. Yes, I know that this probably isn't your structure, Devin, but we're just trying to mix a song from basically right here. All right, cool. Shout out to Fireworks TV, just subscribe. I have no idea what that means, but all right. All right, cool. So now we have our lead, we have everything. So first thing first, let's look at our levels on this beat and let's see what it has going on for it right now. So let's solo the beat by itself. Okay, why is, what, why, what did I do? I didn't do anything, bruv. Um, why did it wild out like that? One second. Okay, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gain stage. This is very important. So when I look at it, it's obviously peaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this thing down to about 6 dB. I'm gonna turn it down 6 dB before it hits my plugins. I am gain staging, I'm clip gaining. I'm turning it down by 6 dB from the very beginning so that when I add plugins, it won't be clipping or anything like that. Now granted, this still has a limiter on it. You think you're slick, I know. But I'm gonna do my best to still mix the, the record for what it is, okay. Okay, so right now our peaks are about, let's see where our peaks are. I still don't like where our peaks are. I need my peaks lower, so I'm gonna lower this beat even more. I'm gonna lower it to about 10. Let's see what happens now. 
Uh, okay, I can work with 8 dB. I'm working at negative 6, negative 8.6 dB on my peak. So I'm gain staging. So I'm making sure that I have enough headroom to mix. So I need to turn that beat way down in order for myself to mix uh, and stuff like that. Um, granted, honestly, the real way I would do it is I probably wouldn't even gain stage or turn this down so much because it already has a limiter on it. I would send this back to him again. Just stay with me for right now, okay? All right. So here we are. So now we're greeted with this. So the first thing I'm gonna, I would probably do with this is I would add my NLS channel across the entire uh, chain. So this is what I would do. I would go to Waves, NLS channel, and I turn this on. Boom. And the reason why I love throwing the NLS channel on my entire chain is because it adds a little bit of analog saturation to every track. It kind of adds also this feeling of separation between the tracks. Because think about it, this is a DAW, right? It's emulating what a board would do on the summing side. So why I like to use the NLS channel is because it kind of adds like this separation and gives more separation to each one of those tracks. It, it, it's, it's such a subtle thing, but I notice it when I'm mixing. So I I put that there. So I'm just letting you know why I put the NLS channel across every single track when it comes to my entire chain. All right. All right. First thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a little bit of the 2K frequency out of the um, the beat. Okay. This is something I, I, I a general rule of thumb that I like to do as far as my um, uh, when I have two track beats, I like to dip a little bit of that 2K frequency out of the beat. So let's check it out. Let's dip a little bit of that 2K frequency out. <laughs> One second, solo. One second. Oh, this isn't a, oh, sorry. This isn't my RTA one. I was so confused. F6 RTA, here we go. All right. Okay, cool. So I did two things. I took out a little bit of that 2K frequency, and I also took out a little bit of that low, low stuff right there, just so I could have even more headroom. I'm taking out the 2K frequency because I'm trying to make room for the vocals because I don't have the tracked outs. And basically, I'm taking out some of that low end just because it's a little bit rumble there, and I want to make sure that when I start boosting, it'll be fine. So that's why I did that, okay? I take out a little 2K, and I take a little bit of that bottom end. All right, back to it. All right, so now that we did that, that's all I'll do to the beat for now. Right now, I'm going to listen to his vocal. Let's check out his lead. So this is his lead. I don't they lead. Let's turn this up a little bit. So let's look at his lead. So lead two is the one we're looking at right now. Uh, I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Okay. Like Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Okay, so this is what I already hear. So first thing we're gonna do is I do wanna I already hear off rip that I do need to add some low mids to his vocals, right? But I'm going to take some stuff out that I hear first before I do that. So let's roll off a little bit of that room tone because I hear some of the room in his vocal right now. Uh I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Like an air force what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Okay, so there's a little bit of a of a very vibrating tone that I want to get rid of as well. So let me find that tone as well. One sec. Uh, I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Like Air Force when I step in. Better. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Okay, now let's attack some of those S's and T's. Remember, when I comes when it comes to mixing, I like to attack problems first before I do any boosting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm attacking problems that I hear or issues that I feel like I'm going to run into later. So I hear those S's and T's. Get them. Go get the S's and T's before you start doing anything else. Go get those little uh, hollow spots. Fix the vocal before you do any boosting. So let's find those S's and T's. Let's take some of those S's and T's out. Uh, I pull up with Smith and Wesson. Right there. We about to fight you like Tekken. Right there. Like an Air Force when I step in. Better. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Better. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Okay, now I'm going to get a little bit more clarity out of his vocal. I'm going to take some of that 250 hertz range out, which is known as more or less the muddier frequency range. I'm going to get some more clarity. I want to make this bright, a little brighter to cut through the mix without actually boosting anything. Check this out. Uh, I pull up with Smith and Wesson. Yeah. We about to fight you like Tekken. Like Air Force when I step in. 
Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Better. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Okay, now I'm gonna bypass it back and forth. Check out what I did. Uh, I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Much lighter. Like Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Dope. So now we did that with the vocal. Next thing we're gonna move on to is we're gonna do uh, RDSer. Uh, RDSer. Remember, I am fixing problems, ladies and gentlemen. I am fixing problems. Shout out to AO Kikondo that just followed us. This is what I'm gonna do. I have a preset called the three kilohertz killer. So basically what I'm trying to do is that three kilohertz frequency range that I always call the pain frequency, I just wanna tame that a little bit before I start boosting. So I'm about to tame that a little bit and I'm gonna use a de -er to do that. I'm putting a de -er at 4,237 hertz. Check it out. Uh, I pull up with Smith & Wesson. We bout to fight you like Tekken. Black Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Better. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Do you hear how much more balanced the tone feels? Watch without it. Uh, I pull up with Smith & Wesson. We bout to fight you like Tekken. Black Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Much more balanced. The tone is a lot more balanced, and that's all with me just going to that three kilohertz frequency range, basically, and basically taming that, saying, calm down, I'm about to boost you, but I want you to calm down a little bit before I get there. All right. Shout out Ayo Kikano, I appreciate you. Basically do the same if you use them correctly. Yeah, each EQ has a sonic characteristic, but some differ from others. There are some EQs that are better than the others. Shout out Nugant Tutan that just followed us. Okay, cool, back to the mix. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do one of my little tricks, and I'm gonna load up one of my, my, my favorite little presets. So right now I'm gonna open up my SSL EQ, right? Shout out to someone that just subscribed. Okay, I see you. I don't know what that means, but cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up one of my favorite presets. This is called, I call this preset the clean that vocal preset. Now, a lot of you gonna hear this and say to yourselves, Hey man, you took out a lot of stuff in that vocal. Um, what's going on? I'm gonna show you. Stay with me. Trust me through this entire process. I promise you. Okay. All right. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this to zero because I don't know. But naturally, what I have already going on in my preset is I'm taking out some of that 300 and 300 and what you call it kilohertz frequency. Uh, I'm also taking out one second because that's annoying. One second. Okay. What did he say? Plugins. Oh, he's talking to talk about the thing. Okay. I'm going to take out some of the three kilohertz frequency. I'm going to take out some of the 890 hertz frequency. And I'm also going to roll off a lot of the low end. So this is how it's going to sound. Trust me. Okay. This is going to sound nuts. Watch. Uh, I pull up with Smith from Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Black Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex. I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Okay, so I got a lot thinner, but let me tell you something. Right now, I'm gonna have a vocal that's gonna cut through this mix quick. It's gonna fire right through this mix. So the second thing I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna bring the beat in, and I'm gonna do this technique I like to use called finding the brightness. I'm gonna find the right, um, right frequency range for the high end, okay? Let's check it out. Let's find the right frequencies for the high end. So I'm gonna play it with the beat. One sec. So let's boost this about 3 dB and then I'm gonna find the right high end for it. One sec, let's go right here. Where is he at? Right here. Which is here. Okay, so I liked it at the eight kilohertz frequency. I know, I know what you're saying. Oh, I really can't hear it. Guess what? We're gonna fix it. But I picked the frequency range brightness wise that felt right. I was like, this frequency range felt right as far as the brightness, the high end is concerned. And all I did was take, boost about four dB and then I sweeped my frequency range to see what felt right. I was like, that brightness felt great. Like that brightness felt great right there and that was it. Now, we're gonna bring it out. Watch this. So now we're gonna add the 1176, my favorite compressor. Um, everything's my favorite compressor, right? I know y'all think that all the time. I'm gonna do a, the, the, the slowest attack and I'm gonna do the fastest release. Let's find it. Like Air Force when I step in. 
Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get about 10. Uh-oh, what happened to my thing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get about negative 10 dB of gain reduction. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. Okay, great. Now, before and after. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Now, sometimes I like to check the bluey. Now, I know it sounds bright. I am aware. Uh, sometimes I like to check the bluey just to see what it sounds like. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. So it's a little bit more uh, warmer to me and it has a little bit more body. So I'm gonna stick to my blackie because it's a little brighter on it. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Okay, cool. So now we've got it pretty level as far as it within the mix. So let me hear this within the mix right quick. Check this out. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this legs. Much better. We're getting somewhere. We're nowhere near where we're supposed to be, but we're getting somewhere. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Without? Zeros make me for this legs. With? Bread on the floor and I'm stepping. Saving the bag is my check -in. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere special. Okay, cool. So, now that we did that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plugin called the Arvox. Because why? Because I love the Arvox, right? So, boom, here's the Arvox. I'm going to add a little bit of this Arvox because I want to bring a little bit of the vo vocal uh, up to the face. I want to bring it out a little bit more. I want to bring it more to the face. So, this is what we're going to do. So, check this out. Let's do this. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Better. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Without? Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lex. We're also matching the level. So we actually want to match the level. When I bypass it, it shouldn't, it, it, it'll feel better, but it shouldn't feel like it's, it jumps up in volume greatly. So that's why I'm turning it down to match. This is important. This is very important. So with, with, without, and I'm gonna bypass it. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. That is great. I, that is sitting at pretty much a, a very similar level from when, before the compression with the R box. And now let's listen to it within the beat. Check this out. Boom, boom. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Better. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bypass. Like if one's what I step in. That's a four. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Now. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this lazy. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Much, much, much better. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're nowhere near where we need to be. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the R compressor. And yes, that's right. I use three different compressors basically uh, all the time. I use maybe two, maybe three, maybe four compressors to get uh, 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 to spread the work out amongst each other. So this is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna find the right style of compression for this right quick. And this compressor, I call it the glue because what it's gonna do is I'm gonna find the right timing within the beat for the compression right now. Okay, cool. So let's put a two to one ratio. That's what I usually go for. And let me listen to this right quick. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. I like to start with fast attacks and I like to release. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. So I'm gonna OD on something. I'm gonna show you a, a quick trick. I'm gonna OD and then I'm gonna back off. Watch this. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my meat in the presence. So now I'll play it within the beat and I'ma find it. Let's find it within the beat now. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my meat in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. No, I ain't learning my lesson. I swear I'm always finessing. Oh, we getting somewhere. Shit sounds gully. Hold on one second. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. 
Yep, we're sitting. We're sitting in a place now. We've just glued it into the beat where it feels, uh, it has this like feeling to it and stuff like that. And I know what you're saying. Hey, when I first did it, it sounds, it sounds over compressed. I'll be honest with you. But you know what? A lot of modern day rap vocals are over compressed. That's the thing about them. So when I do it, I do it in a way that's tasteful. When you feel like you have too much compression, a lot of times, roll back and slow your attack down. If you slow your attack down and then speed up your release, you'll find a nice pocket. So you see me, I, I put a lot of compression on it. Then I played it in the beat. And then I moved the attack and release to a spot where I was like, ooh, that felt better. What you'll realize is when I slow the attack down, you realize those transient start to shine through a lot more and when I put that put the release to a faster one which is to the left this is the release when I put the release to a faster one it feels like the vocal opens up a little more so if you feel like the vocals um uh uh need to be opened up s s speed up your release so it lets go of the compression faster all right cool so now the next thing I'm gonna do is let's start adding a little bit of texture to this vocal right or better yet let's actually DS. Let's DS this vocal. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is like this. But actually, before I DS it, I'm going to do one more very ignorant thing. Let me add a smack attack to this and see what it sounds like. Sometimes I do this and I see what it sounds like just to see if I get a little bit more energy out. I'm going to turn this down. Let me mute this. Let me see something. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me legs. I am legs. Oh, baby, this is going to sound nuts. One second. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me legs. I am legs. Sis. All of this bread that I'm flaking. So I'm turning it down because I'm trying to match the volumes with it, right? This is Devin's song. This is Devin's song. He's in our Discord too. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Okay, cool. Now listen to this it within the beat. Like if one's what I step in. Yeah. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Before. Safe in the back is my check ins. Now. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my meat in the presence. Oh my gosh, it's sounding cool. Again. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Dope. Okay, now. Next thing we're gonna do is, and I basically add that uh, smack attack just to get a little bit more uh, transient information out of it. So I still got my compression. Think about it. Um, I still got my transients. Uh, I compressed the transients earlier, but I got some transients back with it just feeling dope. So yeah, we are nowhere near where this shit is gonna be. Okay, cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a fat filter Saturn. And I'm gonna add a fat filter Saturn because why? I want a little bit of analog saturation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to click around and use within the clean tube, warm tube, clean tape, warm tape, and find the right feeling for that compression, okay? Or, excuse me, for that saturation. And then I go from there. So let's let's find the one that feels the best. So let's start with clean tube. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. So I'm going to play it within the beat, and I'm going to click each one and see which one feels right with the beat. Like if one's what I step in. Me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. That sounds Zeros good. Make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Clean tape sound go. In the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. No, I ain't letting my leg. It's warm tape. Can do y'all agree that warm tape felt the best? That warm tape felt ill. That warm tape felt ill. Listen to this warm tape. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Without. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. That's ill. Do I put Saturn on every track? Absolutely not. I don't put it on every track. Yo, so that felt amazing. That feels amazing. Okay, cool. So now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little unorthodox because it already sounds so bright. I know it sounds really bright, but guess what I already knew? No. I know that I'm going to fight that brightness back uh, after uh, in a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to fight that brightness back. I'm going to catch it, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost, and then I'm going to attack that, DS that after. But I'm going to get as much as I can out of that so it can cut through that mix. So I'm going to boost a little bit of the high end on this vocal. Check this out. Like if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. 
Zeros make me for dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check ins. It makes the vocals so much more exciting. Do you hear that? Watch this. I'm gonna bypass it and keep bypassing it back and forth. Pete. I like get phones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. Huge difference. I'm also gonna turn it down just a little bit more. About another DB so I can match the volume of it originally. Let me listen. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Great. Now we match the volume. Now, let's DS this vocal. I'm gonna add the Pro DS right quick. And let's see what we get at. So here's my Pro DS. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. We uh, we just murdered the the S's and T's. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Before? Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Great. Listen, within the beat now. Like your earphones when I step in. Yeah. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me feel dyslexic. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. Dope. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to really glue this thing into the beat, okay? We're gonna glue this thing into the beat. If you guys wanna hear what this sounded like before, check this out. This was the mix before. Listen close. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. That was before and now we have this. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Wonderful, okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a plate verb. We're gonna add a plate verb. And why do I add plate verbs? I add a plate verb because it gives the vocal a sense of a, a more of a stereo feel. Um, it's not so close to the mic, can almost hear this man swallow. <laughs> you stupid, you can hear him swallow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna boost this up, check this out. Check what this does. Like it, Take it out. Like it, if one's what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Do you hear what that did? It added a room. It added a nice room to the whole thing. So check this out. It's good to DS after the initial compression. Yeah, and do the S's, yes, M MBJ. Yeah, I like to just DS after the compression because it's gonna happen regardless. Yo, so do you hear that? You hear what that uh, uh, play verb did? It, it's amazing. It adds a stereo feel to the vocal. Like your earphones when I step in. Yeah. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Yeah. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Look what that that short that plate verb did, and it's subtle. But when I take it out, you'll notice it. I'ma bypass it. Watch this. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Much better. It adds such a bottom, such a such a feeling and space for the vocal. It gives it this really, really nice place to breathe, and it, it's really, really sick. Okay, cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of a long verb now. I'm gonna add a reverb that kind of glues into the beat a lot. Uh, check this out. I'm gonna add a long reverb now. And this is the verbs that I'm using. I'm using the Lexicon Vintage Plate, and I'm also using, for my long verb, I'm using the Valhalla, which I love to death. I love Valhalla so much. Okay, cool. So, let's add a little bit of the long verb into this. Like your earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Oh yeah, baby. Do you feel how it glued into the beat? It glued. It's it's there. It belongs there now. And we created that space using a short verb and a long verb. And now it belongs there. I'm going to take the short verb and long verb off. See what it sounds like now. So this is me turning it off. This is on. Off, on. Off, on. So off right now. Check it out. I'll, I'll put it back in. I get phones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Much better. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Without. Safe in the back is my check ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Wicked. Now there's one more thing that I'm gonna do. And I need to find the tempo in order to do it. So let me just find a BS tempo right quick. I get earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this. Okay, I needed to find a tempo for it because I want to put a, a delay on this, but I needed the tempo to do it. But I got the tempo, I'm good. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. One sec. All right, let's add a delay. And we're going to add a fourth delay. And what the fourth delay is going to do is it's going to give us a sense of movement. It's going to give us a very slight sense of mute movement and it's going to make the vocal sound so much. Uh, here we go. 
Black earphones when I step in Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus All of this bread that I'm flexing Zeros make me feel dyslexic Bread on the floor when I'm stepping Safe in the back is my check-ins All of them hoes got a blessing yeah. Cause I put my me in the presence I don't think you get Very slight on the delay Let's take down some of the feedback on it a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it to lo-fi. I'm gonna take it to lo-fi. So basically all this is doing is, when I put my delay to lo-fi, it's cutting off the top, cutting off the bottom, and giving me this nice little pocket ball right there, and it makes it sound a little bit more lo-fi, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also putting an S1 imager on the end of my um, delay so that it spreads the delay out even more. So check this out now. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. You hear the little tail of his vocal testing, testing. It fills in the entire thing. Uh, it fills in the entire space of what was there before, and that's it. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an effect that'll blow your mind. Don't I always say this? This uh, this next effect right here is gonna blow your mind. Let me bring in my preset right quick. My parallel compression. Oh yeah, baby. What you thought? We thought we wasn't gonna do no parallel compression? What are you, crazy? Okay, shout out to whoever just followed us. Thank you very much. Rick Grimes. Hey, Rick Grimes wants to do music from Walking Dead. You're amazing, bro. Okay, cool. So now I'm adding a parallel compressor. So parallel compressor. Parallel comp, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so when setting up your parallel compression, right? Long story short, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a copy. I'm going to create a copy of the lead vocal or whatever vocal I'm using. When I create that copy, I'm going to uh, smash the copy. I'm going to destroy that copy. I'm going to compress that copy so much that it's indistinguishable. I'm going to smash it to create a really uh, ball of audio. It's going to be smashed, and I'm going to blend that smashed audio signal in with the original. What this is going to do is, this is going to give me a sense of more presence, more aggression. You're going to hear his vocal a lot stronger, and it's going to blow your mind because you're going to say, wow, I didn't even realize it needed that. Watch this. Okay. So here we are. Let me take a look at how my levels look on my parallel compressor. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. All right, cool. Now we're going to start boosting. Here we go. Let me look at the limiter on here. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. And I'm going to teach you guys what I have on my parallel comp. Just let me do it first and then I'll show you. So we're going to blend it. Here we go. Let's blend. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Amazing. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. Watch this. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to bypass it back and forth. Watch. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. It adds such a presence to the vocal that helps it sit so strong and commanding in that mix. The body, exactly. You see what we did? We added body back to it. Someone said, y'all, man, in a did play this me here is again Miji. I don't know what, my bad, my bro. I'm American as fuck. I can't help but to throw ad libs in between all those lines. It's all good. Um, Yeah, that, we brought that thing out. Yeah, you see that? That parallel compression. Stop not doing that. You gotta do that. That parallel compression will change your life. I'm telling y'all. This came out hella nice. I am, we are not, we are not done. Body sounds crazy. It, this is where I get my real body from is that parallel compression. It, it's just a stronger body I get from the whole thing. Okay, cool. So now let's take a look at his ad libs, which is this one, right? This is his ad libs. See how labeling helps? Cause I knew where it was. Yeah. So let's take this off. Let me listen. Huh? Like earphones when I step in. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys a supremely lazy cheat code, a lazy one. What I'll do is I'll take exactly what I did to the lead vocal for this tutorial, just for this tutorial, I'll take exactly what I did to the lead vocal and only and I'll apply it to the ad-libs, but the only difference will be the EQ at the very end. 
watch this lazy shit work. This is a technique you can use as well when it comes to your ad libs. Cause really the only difference between the ad libs and his lead to me is, uh, is going to be the EQ in itself. So let's put all this here. Let's put all these things here. Smack attack. I'm not gonna put the Saturn and I'm not gonna put the Pro DS. I'm gonna put, uh, I'll put the Pro DS actually at the end, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an EQ. This is his ad lib, remember this is his ad lib. So check this out. Let's solo his ad lib right now. After I put all those plugins on from the other vocal, listen to his ad lib. Huh? What I step in? Yeah. I am Lexus. Yeah. <laughs> I hear doors closing and shit. We gonna get rid of all that shit. Don't worry about it. I got you. So check this out. You gotta make sure nobody coming in your session when you're recording, bro. Okay. Okay. Let's put this. Now listen. Huh? What I step in? Yeah. I am Lexus. Yeah. That I'm flexing. <laughs> Okay, cool. We have a telephone vocal now. Now, the last little trick I'm gonna do, and I really don't wanna show you guys this trick because this is like my secret weapon. All right, here we go. Here's the secret weapon, y'all. Instead of throwing the reverb on uh, like a send, right? Like taking a send and throwing it out to the reverb. When it comes to my ad libs, I like to slap the reverb right on it. And I this is how I believe that the Migos, Travis Scott, how all of them do it. Instead of taking a reverb and sending it out, they slap the reverb right on the actual plugin, or excuse me, right on the actual vocal. So I'm gonna slap the reverb on, on it completely and drown that shit in reverb. All right. So check this out. Huh? What I said, yeah. I am Lexus, yeah. Then I'm flexing. <laughs> These Lexus. Uh. When I, I step in. Okay, do you hear that? <laughs> and that's how these dudes will be getting that uh, that sound. That's how they get this really crazy reverbed out um, uh, delay. I mean, or basically that's how they reverb, get that big ad lib. Yes, no bust. I'm doing this in a very unorthodox way. And I did this by accident years ago. And I said, holy shit, this is how, I, this is how they're secret, probably low key doing it. So look, even if I turn, if you want more out of it, you turn the, the decay up a little bit. So watch. What I step in, yeah, I am Lexus, yeah, then I'm flexing. <laughs> so you can turn it up and it'll hang more. If you want the reverb to hang more, then that's what you put on it. I'm also gonna put a little delay on it. Huh? What I step in, yeah, I am Lexus, yeah. Okay, now, listen to this bad boy within the song. Lazy shit. Yeah. Black earphones, what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Saving the back is my check ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get. Oh, yeah, hold on. Now I know I need a little bit more presence out of it. So now I'm gonna go over to my, my, um, my, my compressor and check what it, what it's doing. Hold on. Yeah, it's doing it. Cool, one second. We're gonna keep looking at this. We're good there. Dope. Now what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna back off on the on the mix of this a little bit just to get a little less reverb in the seat. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Saving the back is my check -ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. No, I ain't learning my lesson. I swear I'm always finessing. Rappers on me. It just adds a little bit of texture to it. Uh, now, granted, that's a stylistic thing. He probably might not want his ad lib like that. And granted, I can take off the reverb and I can play it by itself. Check this out. Yeah. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check -ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my... You see, I can put it like that as well, and that's a stylistic thing. With the reverb, I like it with the reverb because it just adds this kind of thing to it. Yeah. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor. And it just adds a little bit of texture to that, and that's on the reverb. Uh, let's continue to look at what we got. So that's the ad libs there. Now let's look at the sound effects of this right quick. So here's the sound effects. 
Let me see what it sounds like. Okay, now let's hear this in the beat, because I have no idea what this is, right? Like how this is gonna fit. Take it. Okay, cool. Now also, let's actually copy this setting to the leads over here. Just for the sake of time, honestly, I probably wouldn't ever do this because it sounds like it's a whole other rapper. But for the most part, because we're just pressing for time, let me just put this right here for you so you can just hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna put the same settings on this lead vox as the other lead vox was. So check it out. I'm gonna turn them down a little too. So it's 2.9, let's see. Take it. Why would you step a little boy, what you dreadin'? We gonna wet you up, start all that flexin'. 31 Evans and 10 Smith and Wessons. Run up your block, you gonna ask what you stepped in. Play with the gang and you better expect it. Begging for money. Okay, cool, so it's there. And basically, I'll let you hear what it sounds like before then. Um, Honestly, it could be off beat, off the strength of how we brought in the other beat before, but sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna take off all of these plugins and listen to what his vocal sounded like before we use the presets that we kind of used for his other vocal. Check this out. Take it. Why would you step a little boy, what you grab? Before. We gonna wet you up, start all that flex. 31 Evans and 10 After. Smith Wessons. Run up your block, you gonna ask what you stepped in. Play with the gang and you better expect it. Begging for mercy, now nah, boy, you can't get it. That man walk it. Sounds a lot better and that's with literally the preset and this is why i always tell you guys when you guys you know when it comes to my vocal chains and presets and templates that we have on the help me devon site this is basically what i do i take vocals i take a bunch of vocals i mix them to the likeness of certain artists and i find the right sound now granted when you download one of the vocal chains of the templates from my site you can literally dissect it and change and alter all these things but you can have it in front of you to say okay well this is what it sounds like coming out of the mic and it's empower it's powerful i just created this is the vocal chain uh preset i can give this out to everyone right now this is a vocal chain preset help me devon dot info okay cool so now that we got that vocal sitting in there as well Let's figure out this strange sound effect. Like when you get something weird or something off the wall like this, what the heck do you do with it? And I'm gonna mute his lead vocal for the moment, but let's figure this out. What is this? I take it. Now what you say to yourself is how the hell, what do I do with this, right? Like what is the thing? What is the vibe of this? What is the point of this? And that's what you're trying to figure out. You're trying to figure out what the point of that is. Like, what is that for? And that's what we have to figure out is what the point of that is. And that's what you're always trying to figure out when you're mixing. What is the point of that right there? So let's figure out the point of that. I take it. Why would you step a little boy, what you grabbing? We gonna wet you up, start all that flexing. 31 Evans and 10 Smith and Wessons. Run up your block, you gonna ask what you stepped in. So for me, what I feel like is it needs to be widened. And I say it in a sense of because it's sitting kind of close to the middle of the vocal and maybe it should feel like it's kind of surrounding like this. It feels like an energetic thing. So it's my brain mixing why says, maybe they want this to be like energetic, like surrounding it, like woo, right over woo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a stereo widening trick on that. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to my favorite plug, my favorite, uh, what you call the plugin, who I'm not being paid for, <laughs> Dr. MS. And I'm gonna open up a preset and I'm gonna try a few different presets. I'm gonna try this preset called Inside Out. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's try another preset. Let me see something. Let's try, let's try Solar Space. Let me see what Solar Space sounds like. Okay, that's an interesting place that it put it. it put, the stereo wide and they put it in some weird ass place. Let's see what it sounds like now in the mix. I take it. Why would you step a little boy, what you grabbing? We gonna wet you up, start all that flex. 31 Evans and 10 Smith and Wessons. Run up your block, you gonna ask what you step. Okay, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very uh, interesting place where it put the vocal, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of a reverb so that I can push it further to the back because I kind of like where it's sitting on my ears stereo wise, but I want to pull it back a little bit. And I'm going to do that with reverb. Let's try it. Let's see what it sounds like. I have no idea what this is gonna sound like. I take it. Why would you step a little boy, what you grabbing? We gonna wet you up, start all that flexing. 31 Evans and 10 Smith and Wessons. Run up your block, you gonna ask what you stepped in. Play with the gang and you better expect it. Uh-huh, hold on. I 
I like it. Now this is the other thing we're gonna do. Cause I don't want it to compete with my um uh my what you call it vocal, with my main vocal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a little bit of that 2K frequency since there's a vocal there. Okay, let's listen to that together now. We did it. Okay, now. Do you see what that did? Did you see? And granted, I will work on this for a, a much longer, right? But do you see how doing that simple little trick just helped make space for the vocal? We put it in a better place where it lived with the vocal and it just felt overall better. Yeah. That's how you do that. And that's it, it comes with saying to yourself, what is the purpose of this? Like, okay, what is the purpose of this sound? And I said, yo, maybe that sound is meant to surround the vocal, not really, uh, how do you say, just be there. It's supposed to be a feeling that surrounds the vocal. And that's why we widen it through a reverb to push it back a little. And then we cut out a little bit of the 2K just to, so that the vocal still takes precedent over it. Yeah. I would nudge his vocal. We're not going to do all that. We're just mixing this for just to teach everybody what's going on. Okay, I think that's it. Let me see what else we have here. Cause then we could just move on to a master with it and that'll be it. Let me see something. What's this? Why for you step a little boy, what you dread? Coming from West. We better fight you like Tekken. Like a headphone. Okay, that's fine. I'm not touching that. Alright, so for the most part, we're done, right? Like for the most part, that's what we needed to do. One second. Like a headphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check -ins. All of them. You see how that, that ad lib is starting to grow on me? Uh, that ad lib is starting to grow on me. Yes, let's check the mask. Let's check where we're hitting. Like a headphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. So we're peaking at negative 0.8. We're peaking at negative 0.8 right now. Um. So, okay, so since, so this is my thing. Since we don't have the tracked out beat, there's a lot of things that I would do if there was a tracked out beat. But since we don't, I'm gonna be very minimal with what I do. To be honest, I would parallel compress the entire damn mix. I would put a parallel compressor on the entire damn mix. I would do a bunch of different things. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna move on to mastering. So let's say we love it, it's polished, which it's not, but let's move on to say it's polished. Shout out to Titty Live, okay. Uh, and let's see where we get with the master. So let's do a little bit of mastering. Now, I will say this. You are not supposed to uh, mix a uh, master within the mix session. Devin, let me say this. I should have been reference mixing. You're absolutely right. For the purpose of this tutorial, guess what? I'm mixing in headphones. So that's why. But to be honest, I would mix with a reference. Before I go any further, because I don't want you guys to ever skip that step. Mix with the reference. What that means is bring in a commercial song that you like the sound of and listen to it in comparison to yours to see where it's hitting. Just now what I did was I mixed it blind. This is where a lot of you guys will start your mix, mix it, go in the car and be like, what the fuck? I'm mixing in headphones. I didn't do it with a reference mix, but I've been doing it long enough to kind of know I'll be okay. But reference mix. Now, just for the sake of this, we're just gonna move on to mastering. There's a thousand th different things, fader rides, automation, raise the chorus. I'm not gonna do all that stuff right now. I would add, uh, I would add so many different things to this, but let's just go to mastering just for time. I'm also gonna master in the same session as the mix session. That's a big ass no-no. Don't you ever do that. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna do that right now. All right, cool. So let's move on over here. So say for instance, uh, the first thing I do is, let's say I'm preparing this for the mastering en engineer, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say SS, let's, uh, NLS. This is how I always prepare my mixes for master. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down until I'm hitting about negative 4 dB on my peaks, okay? Negative 4 dB on my peaks. So, let's get down to negative 4 dB. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. 
Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Saving the bag is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you know. Okay, we're now hitting about negative four dB. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is I like to throw a little bit of the drive up on my NLS bus, which I just did. You saw me just click it, just to get a little bit more analog saturation out of the entire mix. So check this out. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lex. So yes, it gets lower in volume, but understand that I, I need to make it so that I, the mastering engineer has enough room to uh, actually master. So that's basically what I did there. I threw it down about 4 dB so that I can get peaks at negative 4 dB. And then I threw up the drive about 3 just to get a little bit more analog saturation. The very last thing that I'm going to do to get this to my mastering engineer is I'm going to throw a Saturn on this. I'm gonna throw a fat filter Saturn on this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of analog saturation to this entire mix. Now also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, what I meant to really do is, and I apologize for this was, I meant to put the fat filter Saturn on first, then the NLS bus to get the level correct. So just pay attention to this right quick. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get some analog saturation out of the Saturn and then I'll go back to the NLS channel bus to get the level down to negative four. So let's add some analog saturation to this thing. So let's pick the right analog saturation for it. I'm gonna go through these presets to find the right sound for it overall. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. Warm tube felt the best. Let me take it out. Let's hear what it sounds like without it. One sec. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Very, very slight, but it's there and I like it. Cool. Great. One other thing that I see right now that I know I'm going to run into a problem with is I'm going to put an EQ on the end of the 20 hertz range just to get rid of some more of that low end because I can see it already building up. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. I just put a slight little bit at the 20 hertz range just to roll off a little bit of that low end rumble so that I just don't run into too big of an issue later on. So I took that off. Okay, so basically I did, I put an F6 EQ just on the end of this, just to roll off a little bit of that. Then I put a Saturn on just to add a little bit of analog saturation, and that is it. I'm gonna still gonna turn the treble down a little bit, and that's it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do to prepare for mastering is, I'm gonna take this NLS bus, and I'm going to turn it down negative four dB till I get to about negative four dB as far as my peaks are concerned for mastering. So let's make sure I'm at negative four dB peaks. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. Okay, cool. So I'm almost there. I'd say about the negative three, negative 3.2 would be great. And I'm reaching about negative four dB on my piece. Okay, cool. So I'm good with that, right? Boom. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, let's master. So let's pretend that we've bounced this record, we completely bounced it, we're done with it, we've, we're sending it off to the mastering engineer to master it. Okay. Hello, I'm the mastering engineer now. Now we're gonna master this record. <laughs> I'm an idiot, you can tell I'll be home by myself all day, right? <laughs> all right, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a mastering EQ, right? This is my song, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to master now. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a mastering EQ. So what I like to do is I like to boost certain frequency ranges. Um, basically, I'm a big fan of the 50 hertz range. I'm a big fan of the 500 hertz range. And I'm a big fan of the 23,000 hertz range when it comes to boosting. So that's why I'm already preparing myself to boost. So let's do it. So let's go. And listen, when it comes to my master, I'm only boosting 1 dB the most ever. I'm never really boosting more than one dB when it comes to my master. Why? Because the client sent this to me and said, this is my perfect mix. Just enhance it. So I'm not gonna make these big drastic changes to it. I'm just gonna enhance what is already there. So the biggest things I'm gonna do is about a dB move. That's my rule of thumb for me to stay in check. I'm doing dB moves, one dB moves, okay? 23,000, I'll explain, I'll explain in a second. Yes, 23,000 is a range that you can get on mastering EQs. Okay, let's do it. Black earphones when I step in. 
Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a. Okay, check this out. I'ma bypass it back and forth. Check out what it did. It's a very subtle thing. Listen very closely without first. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor. It's such a subtle thing, you probably don't even realize it, but trust me, when I take all this stuff off in a second, you're gonna feel it. All right, let's do one more uh, uh, mastering EQ on this. Let's add another instance of the mastering EQ. So this is our first one. Now this is our second one we're using. And what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna try and so find something, uh, a nice frequency to get some of those low mids out a little bit. I need to warm this mix up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably go over to like that 200, 300 hertz range and find that warm. Then I'm gonna come over to here and then I'll come over to here. So let's do it. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me like There it is, got it, 280. 280 gave me a little bit of that warmth. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. No, I ain't letting my Oh, we killed that. We killed, if you even hear what I what that just did. So hear it without the two EQ. So I'ma bypass it like this, boom, 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 boom. So without first. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them So much better in just doing those simple EQ moves with two EQs, one dB a pop. Two EQs just brought that entire sound out so much. Really nice body from the vocals and 808s in the 280. Yes, that 280 hertz range, which is known for the muddiness, actually brought some stuff out. Smack attack, you know it, we're coming. Um, Who else is saying something? I'm reading. Keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Could I get you master? Okay, okay, we're gonna keep going. People are asking me to master their songs now. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one of my favorite things in the world. I'm gonna add a uh, mid-side EQ. Okay, we're gonna add some mid-side EQ to this. And what I'm doing this for is, I'm going to clean up the, the, the side information. I'm gonna roll off a bunch of the lows on the side information, and I'm gonna boost some of the highs on the uh, side information as well. So, I have my little preset. So basically, I've explained this to you guys before what a mid-side EQ basically does. A mid-side EQ, long story short, is, um, how can I explain it? It allows you to affect your side information different from your middle information. I explained this to you guys before. So long story short, it just gives me the capability to EQ the middle information different from the side information, okay? That's all you need to keep in mind right now. I'm dropping a tutorial on this tomorrow, by the way. Watch if I solo this, listen close. That's my side information you're hearing right now. This is my middle information you're hearing. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. That's my middle information. So it allows me to EQ my side information different from my middle. So on the sides, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a lot of that low end. I'm gonna take about 80 hertz, up to about 80 hertz of that low end. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna free up so much headroom from my master, which ultimately will give me a louder master because I'm gonna free up a lot of that side information. I don't really want low end information on my sides. I really want the sides to be brighter, wider, and just more open, as opposed to that middle information where my kick, my snare, my vocal, and all that, kind of mid-range stuff should live, I'm going to clean up the sides so that it'll allow more room and more clarity for that mid as well. So it's very subtle, but peep this. I'm gonna exaggerate this to show you what it does too. That's what it does if I take a bunch out, but I'm gonna take about this much out and I'm gonna boost the high end. A dB, one dB. Okay, now I'm gonna bypass this back and forth. Let's see what it sounds like in the mix. It's gonna be so subtle, you probably won't even notice it, but it's much there. It's so necessary. Black earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. You hear that? All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put 
put my me in the presence. So much better. You, I can hear the clarity. I can feel the clarity. Now there's one more other thing that I'm gonna do within his vocal, and I'm gonna boost the middle. In the middle, I'm gonna boost the frequencies in the mid range just to get a little bit more to, of the vocal to stand out. Let's check this out. So I'm gonna use my mid EQ on the mid side EQ. And I'm gonna find where in that frequency range I can get a little bit more of his vocal out of. And I'm only gonna move one dB. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. Right there, that 8 890 hertz felt good. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. That felt good. Okay, now watch this. I'm gonna bypass the whole thing. Let's see what it sounds like. The whole thing. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check. -in. Much better. We got more out of the mid range. We got um uh a better top end. We got uh a cleaner side. Midside EQ, midside EQ, so, so, so ill. Okay, now, I'm trying to think what I would go for next. To keep it a full stack with you guys, um, hmm, let me think, let me think for a second, because usually what I would do is I would, I didn't add any analog saturation within the actual master, and I usually don't do too much of that, within my master and I'm not gonna do too much of that because I feel like I already did so much. I like the master. See, this this is what comes in when you say, I don't wanna do too much, don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is for right now, I'm gonna see what the smack attack just sounds like. I just wanna see what it sounds like. And sometimes I do that, I'll be like, let me see if this adds anything to this actual song. So I'm gonna add a transient shaper, as you all know what I always call it. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm scared. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. And of course, it sounds great. <laughs> I love the Smack Attack, man. Smack Attack just is so ill when it comes to just catching transients and bringing that out. And it just makes it knock a lot harder. Now, granted, I see people talking about analog saturation. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I won't throw any more analog saturation on it right now. Um, but yes, usually I would throw on um, uh, I would throw on some analog saturation. No, the analog saturation won't muddy it up if you use it correctly. To be honest with you, if you use it correctly, it won't muddy anything up. So for right now, I'm gonna go into getting loud, getting it loud, right? I feel like that's like the one thing you all of you guys really, really are concerned about. How can we get this loud? How can we get this loud? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to uh, the greatest plugin ever made. The T-Rex Soft Clipper, right here. This is the plugin, this is my secret weapon when it comes to getting things very loud. Now also, I would add compression. I would really add compression. I should just add compression. I'm just doing this for the sake of time just so I don't like go through every single detail, but I think you guys want every single detail. So let's add a little bit of compression, all right? That's usually what I would do. So I'm gonna add the classic comp. And the reason why I like to use this mastering compressor is because it allows me to have this high pass filter chain side chain on it. And what that means is if I turn it to about 125, I'm basically telling this compressor, hey, anything under 125, don't worry about that. Let that right through. Don't compress that stuff underneath there. Now, why would I want it to not do that? The reason why I want it, I want to bypass that information on the bottom hand as far as the low end is because that's like the louder stuff, right? Uh, if I allow the compressor to attack that stuff, it's really going to attack that low end and some of the top end, right? But instead, what I can do is I can say, leave the low end alone, compress that top end and bring that top end up. Now the top end and the low end will meet in a better place because the, the low end didn't move. It was like, I was chilling. And now you brought the top end up to be closer 
to that low end. It, it, it'll glue itself together so much better. Now, what I'm looking for is about 2 dB of gain, of gain reduction, maybe, one and a half, 2 dB. Doesn't have to be two, but two is the most that I'd go on compression when it comes to mastering. And then I'm gonna do a pretty slow to fast attack, and I'm gonna do a pretty fast to medium release because I want those transients to let go. I don't wanna compress it too much, okay? Also with it, I'm gonna throw down this ratio to about a 1.7. Yes, I'm gonna put a very, very slow, uh, a very soft ratio or knee to this whole thing. Okay, cool, so let's put this to about right here. Let's put this attack to about right here. Like I said, a medium attack, and then I got it to a fast to, uh, a fast to, a pretty fast release, long story short. All right, let's see what we got. Let's turn this down. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Holler this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. I love it. So look at what it did. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. One second, look what it did. Bypassing it. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Everything, the vocals popped. Everything kind of just popped out as far as that information. Check Luffs. I will check Luffs. It's not time for that yet. <laughs> it's not time for Luffs yet. So you see what that did. It really added uh, a, a pop to those vocals. It made that top end come up. Everything felt a little bit more aggressive and just felt so much better. Okay. So let me turn this down a little bit more just so we're not clipping on anything. And now we're gonna bring in our soft clipper. So you saw me, I was getting about four, 2 dB of gain reduction, maybe even less than that. Low end was chilling, exactly. Low end was chilling. If anyone is watching this right now, please make sure you follow us on Twitch right now. Click that follow button, please. Please, 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 to keep this alive. If this channel keeps growing, I will keep doing this all the time. And I will figure out a way to literally do live mix sessions for you guys all the time. So make sure you press follow. All right, so let's go to the the classic clipper now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this bad boy right here. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. And long story short, thank you, Jay Picaldo. Long story short, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to get the most volume out of this song without destroying it, okay? I do not like using limiters. This is something I tell you guys all the time. I'm really not a big fan of limiters. I don't like to use a lot of limiting. So I like to use the soft clipper to get my volume. And then what I'll do is I'll use the limiter just to tame it and just knock those peaks off. So. Let's use the saw clipper to get our volume. Watch your ears, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your ears. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in their presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. Okay, cool. So I'd like to get a, at least 2 dB, maybe 2 dB of it of it's of gain of the saturation from the actual thing. And that's about it. Now the last thing I'll do is I'll throw on a fab filter pro L. And after I do that, which hold on one second, let me make sure I got this for you guys. Let me take this so that I can actually meter this. One second. So I'm gonna take this and let's meter this. So the way I'm going to meter this is like this. I'm going to throw this, do this, 1920. This is 1920. One second. Just have to do my routing. Take this. Uh, Farouk. Uh, how would I do this? Um, Stereo Master, 1920. One second. Okay, we're good. I'm smart. Okay, cool. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the, uh, I'm going to throw the insight on it to see where our levels are going to be hitting at and to see if we're in the right place. We might be too loud, we might be too quiet. Let's take a look. So let's throw our limiter on and let's see where we at. Let's put the few things on. I always turn on oversampling, here we go. Like earphones when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. 
I don't think you get the message. Maybe you. So I'm getting about 3 dB of gain reduction on my limiter and my luffs are hitting at about negative 10. Now granted, I could get this a little louder, but I like negative 10 dB, excuse me, luffs. Uh, everyone has their own thing. Uh, I, you know, when you start to get to like negative nine, negative eight, you're starting to get really, really loud. So I like to stay at negative 10. Um, uh, yeah, there's a meter in the Pro L also, but it's not a luffs meter. It's not a luffs meter. Um, and that's the new standard. So I use Insight to find and see where, I, where, I, where I'm at. So basically, uh, yeah, I got it loud. Now granted, let me look at my tonal balance control. And to be honest, since I didn't reference mix, I could be way off. This tonal balance control could be like, this is not in, in line with any other song out here right now. So let me listen. Like earphones where I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lex. Hey, I'm nice. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check. -in. All right, so my, my meters is telling me that I just have a little bit too much brightness. Uh, and I do kind of agree with them. Oh, wow, I didn't put a... Guys, I didn't put a... um. Uh, a DS run. I'm so sorry. I skipped an entire freaking step. Why you ain't tell me? What the hell, bruv? All right, let's just put a DS on this just to control those S's and T's. I completely forgot. That was a big mistake. Pro DS. Okay, cool. So let's put a Pro DS on this. I'm gonna put my preset on this. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just attacking that 9,000 kilohertz range and that 13,000 uh, kilohertz range. So now listen to it. Let's get this DS right. Like earphones where I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Better. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check -in. Got it. All of them hoes got a blessing. Look at that. Cause I put my me in the presence. Ah. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. No, I ain't learning my lesson. I swear I'm always finessing. Rappers on me always come with the range. Shorty on me always giving me I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We better fight you like Tekken. Why for you step a little boy? What you rapping? We gonna wet you up, start all that flex. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed a mix and a master. Straight up how I would probably do it. Now, granted, I would do it a little, uh, I would take my time <laughs> with this whole thing. But look where we took this thing. Um, if I bypass everything, and I love doing this, let's bypass every single thing on this think I'm a jobber, but jobber, think I'm a bobber right now. Let's take all this stuff off. All of this stuff. Let's take all of this stuff off. One sec. Let's take all of this stuff off, right? All of these things. One sec. We're taking all of this stuff off. And let's listen to what it sounded like before. This is what it sounded like before. Like it from when I step Nuts. All right, now let's hear what it sounds like with everything in. Keep your ears fresh. Get ready for your mind to be blown. Boom, boom, boom. Listen. Black earphones where I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check -in. All of them hoes got a blessing. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. Baby, baby, what can I tell you? That is, that is, um, that is what I love to do in a nutshell. What a, what a, what a stream. I mixed and mastered your entire song in a stream. What a stream. Yeah. So that's where we got. Now, granted, there's a lot of things wrong that I need to fix and blah, blah, blah. But for for what we did from where we took it to where we got is a, is a rough idea of how I like to go about this, how my brain works when it comes to, you know, just mixing stuff and then bringing it into the master. And um, I'm tired now. Hey, bro, can you check my mixes? I am tired. I am beat now. Uh, if you guys have any questions, ask me questions right now. Let's do a quick little Q&A. Ask me some questions. Um, I'm here for it. He about to charge you. I'm going to charge you a lot. I love you. Screen recorded the whole set for education. <laughs> I'm about to delete the shit out of this video. <laughs> What's good? I want to pay you now for your services. We will be offering mixing and mastering services in 2021. Next year, 
We will be offering mixing raster services. Right now, we're not. Please make sure you head on over to helpmedevon.info as well. Buy some of our stuff. Support our, our, you know, our brand and what we got going on after we get off of this. Somebody dropped the Discord. I love you guys in the Discord. I love hearing about your stories and you guys sharing your music and telling me. And we just we just shoot the shit. We talk about audio all day in the Discord. So um, we swap tips. Uh, throw uh, throw the Discord. Somebody throw the Discord in here right quick. Levens, um, there's someone that was, there's a few people that was really dope. The TST kid, there was a kid, his name was like TST something. You got to find that kid. Find that kid. What effects are on the parallel compressor for your lead vocals? Oh, I'm sorry, I've never showed you that. Okay, so somebody asked what was the settings on my parallel compressor. So, parallel compressor, this is what I have. It's on the all function, which basically sets it to 50 to 1. I have it to the fastest attack in the middle of the release. And I crank it and I'm trying to get like negative 10 dB gain reduction. I'm trying to get 10, excuse me, I'm trying to get 10 dB of gain reduction. Then what I do after that is I roll off a lot of the low end on it because I don't want to bring up too much of that stuff on my parallel compression. So I roll off a lot up to the 185 range. Then after that, I, what did I do? I took out some of that 3K frequency because I hate that frequency, especially when it comes to my parallel compression. I don't want that 3K frequency to start popping out so much so i take out some of the 3k frequency and then the last thing i do is shout out kelly swank for subscribing i have no idea what that means but dope then the next thing i do is i use this l1 limiter and i basically just use it just to really chop that shit off and just keep it down and that's basically my parallel compression uh if you listen to my parallel compression by itself it sounds like garbage check this out uh will this come up will it come up because it's pre-fader hold on oh sorry Black what I That's my parallel compression. Listen to this garbage. Black earphones what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Look at that. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. But when you blend it in with the actual vocal. Black earphones what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Now, if I mute it, this is me muting it. I'm going to mute it, bypass it back and forth with my parallel compressor. Check it out. Black earphones what I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Better. All of this bread that I'm flexing. So much, so much freaking better. Now, I'm going to show you guys something right quick. Thank you for dropping the Discord. Please, yeah, drop the Discord. Just louder. Yeah, it, it just, yeah, but it adds a loudness, but it also adds a mid-range to it that, um, uh, that was dope as well. I'm going to show you guys one more little trick. Uh, just to prove how dope some stuff is. This is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna show you one last trick before I get out of here, okay? This is this, boom. And, okay, cool. So, what if I, how, how fast can I mix this with the studio rack? Hmm, let's see. Watch this, I'm gonna mix this with the studio rack right quick and see what I get. So wait a second. Just to prove to y'all how deadly the studio rack is, like how insane the goddamn studio rack is. So you know this isn't a vocal I've ever used with the studio rack or anything. I'm just gonna crack it open and let's see what I get. So let's turn this here. So listen. So one sec. Okay, now I just did that. <laughs> now watch this, I'll bypass it back and forth. Check it out. Now, granted, you know, you can use any preset or anything within the studio rack, but bro, I mean, that took me 30 seconds. <laughs>
It took me 30 seconds just to get uh, a, a better vocal. You know what I mean? Just as far as the mix is concerned with the Studio Rack preset. Um, yeah, man, the Studio Rack preset is available at our site at helpmedevon.info. I do encourage you guys to go cop that. That shit is nuts. Like, what it does is nuts. And you don't have to use every knob. Uh, you could just basically just use the power knob, which the power knob is parallel compression. The warmth knob, which adds warmth. The bite, which adds bite. Uh, if you just want to use the clarity knob, just use the clarity knob. Like, this shit is insane. Like, I'll put this back all of all of these back down and just let you hear what this thing does like listen to the clip listen to what the clarity knob does in itself look at that check out my parallel compressor with the power look at that look at that look at that Yes, sir. Oh, you can't hear this? Oh my God, you can't hear this this whole time? Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh my God. Why didn't anyone leave it? Leave it! Why don't you curse me out for this? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's 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 have fun one more time. I'm so sorry. All right, let's 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 have fun one more time. You could not hear that. I was wondering, I was like, yo, y'all not going crazy. Like, why y'all not going crazy? This shit sounds nuts. All right, check this out. I'm gonna mix the I'm gonna do the whole thing. Uh check this out. I'm gonna mix this in two seconds. Fucking nuts! Fucking nuts! Check this out. Bypass. I'm gonna bypass it back and forth. But you like to like it if once when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of these boys that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexus. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Saving the bag is my check. Guys, I did that in two seconds with the Studio Rack plugin, bro. With this preset that we made, bro. This shit is nuts. It's available at helpmedevon.info if you want it. Um, the shit is nuts. Uh, check, you know, it, it's amazing what this thing can really do. Like I told you before, like as far as like, listen, you don't have to use all the knobs. You can use what you need. Like listen to the clarity knob by itself. Like I'll do it again. Fight you like Tekken. Like Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Nuts. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. You can get it from helpmedevon.info. Helpmedevon.info. Check out what the power knob does. Fight you like Tekken. Like Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. Nuts. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Bypass. Zeros make me for this Lexus. <laughs> bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. Awesome. All of them hoes got a blessing. Reverb. Cause I put my me in the presence. I don't think you get the message. Maybe you'll know in a second. Yes, sir. No, I ain't learning my lesson. I swear I'm always finessing. Weapons Whoop. on me always come with the range. Shorty on me always giving me brain. If you know me, you know I'll never change. <laughs> chopper go pow, chopper go bang. I pull up with Smith and Wesson. We about to fight you like Tekken. Bro, sick ass plugin. Look at before and after. Fight you like Tekken. Black like Air Force when I step in. Holy shit. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. <laughs> All of this bread that I'm flexing. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Fucking nuts. Look if I look at the whiff. Look at this whiff knob that I got. I got this whiff knob. It does something really interesting that you guys can use for your mixes as well. Fight you like Tekken. Black like Air Force when I step in. Sick. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. All of this bread that I'm flexing. Sick. Zeros make me for this Lexi. Bread on the floor when I'm stepping. Safe in the back is my check-ins. Nuts. All of them hoes got a blessing. Imagine if I had that in the mix, like a crazy whiff on it. Fight you like Tekken. Black like Air Force when I step in. Don't call me Lex, I am Lexus. That's a whole new type of song. Guys, I just did that in like 30 seconds, like just to the mix uh, with the vocal. Mind you, it took us like an hour to do that, but crazy, y'all. Uh.
like I said, if you want to support us, if you want to support the channel, and you want to keep this going and keep me, you know, here doing this with you guys all the time, make sure you head on over to helpmedevon.info. Go get some templates, vocal chains, that studio rack preset, the Help Me Devon studio rack preset. Uh, and make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. Right now, all I want is everyone from YouTube to come to Twitch and follow. Right now. Right now. Can you guys uh, follow? Levens, Levens, you have the ability to stop to ban people, by the way. You have the ability. Why did you go, why did, what did you do to your background vocals on Homewrecker? That's another day. Yeah, so how many EQs do you normally use on your master? About four. I'll be honest, I use like four EQs. Came to Twitch YouTubers. Yes, stop playing yourself. Yeah, all of you YouTubers, come to Twitch, follow on Twitch. Please follow me on Twitch. I beg of you. And then drop the Discord. We need some more people in our Discord. We're at about 300 people on our Discord now. The Discord is growing and shit is booming. Come on over, join us, man. And make sure you get that, um, you just posted a video. What? What What on the doubler bus? Ah, uh, on the doubler bus, I just use a basic doubler. Uh, I'll show you guys that another time as far as the doubler. Yes, thank you. Shout out to, for the next for the next two second, two minutes, I'm gonna shout out everybody that follows. Shout out, shout out Coptano007. I appreciate you. Shout out Coptano217. Uh, I wonder how many followers we gained. Uh, I think we I think we hit our goal. Shout out Detri Detri Det Detrimental D. I really appreciate you guys, yo. I really appreciate you guys. For real, for real. For real, for real. I might save the stream. I might save the stream. It all depends. Shout out King Levels. Oh, I thought it was Levens. Levens, you was about to be tight. Devi Dev, Adi Bamba Klat Gort. He's stupid. I'm trying to save you, cuz. We can't look at anything. You look dumb right now. <laughs> Shut up, Levens. I'm deleting this live, this stream. I did look dumb as fuck. I was like, yeah, y'all hear that? Oh my god. Devin, I'm sure this stream was crazy because I mixed your song and mastered it. You do anything else on the two track, make the vocal sit sound better. Uh, we'll do that another day. We'll do that another day. Next time, some, make sure you know what you guys, next time any of you guys, make sure you have a tracked out stream ready to go, like a track, like tracked outs ready to go. And I can walk you through that. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch. Shout out, yes, keys, uh, key bees on the track. Man, I appreciate all you guys that are following us right now. This is fucking big, this is major. I see that YouTube number going down. Yeah, make that Twitch number come up too, yeah. Yes, follow on Twitch, I really appreciate it. Join the Discord, shout out Dre OK. Thank you, Dre OK. I might make you the, 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 um, the Discord guy. You might be Discord man. I might make you Discord man. Dre is Discord man. He always dropped the link. What would you focus on if you had more time? Uh, a lot. Uh, I'd focus on taming the highs of that vocal a little bit more. The highs in that vocal need to be tamed. I bring out some more of the mid range. I definitely do some more uh, stereo tricks. I'd listen to it in mono, but I can't because I'm on this. Comp I'm doing streaming, so it's hard to listen in mono. I have a button that I press, but I it won't work. Blah blah. But there's a lot of different things I would do. Y'all make my balls itch. Facts. Uh, we in here. Big facts. Make sure you join that Discord. I'm I'm gonna be in the Discord in a second too. Twitch got my number stuck, but I know that shit higher. It's all good. Yes, keep following the nerd at Lust. I appreciate you guys. Um, I, we're almost at affiliate. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow or make it able that, uh, you know, when I do get to affiliate, I'll, which I only need one more day to stream. I only need one more day of streaming to get to affiliate. I'm going to get it to the point where uh, anyone, you can pay me for a mix or basically... You can pay for a mix and I'll mix it live on air. So you'll get the exposure and what you call it. I think that's something you guys would be interested in. I think that'd be really dope. And that's how I can really give special attention to people. Like I'm mixing someone's song. I'm going to do it live on air. It's going to be posted on my YouTube. It's a big, it's a pretty decent exposure for your song. Think about it, that Devin song. You're all looking for it now. I think, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. But we'll do it at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I'd really appreciate tips from you guys, like bits and stuff like that, when it comes available, we're not available yet, you see I'm holding the cup. Um, I'd really appreciate all that stuff, man. I'd love to stay on here. I'd like this to be something I do every day, uh, but obviously it would have to make sense and we would have to, I, I, hate, I hate to say the money thing, but you know, it would have to be something that my time, it has to be worth it. We all know this, guys. I'm, I'm trying to give you as much game as possible. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. But nonetheless, you can go on over to the helpmedevon.info, drop the Discord link, 
I'm getting off of this. Shout out to everybody that's following. Please, please keep following. Follow, 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 follow. Uh, I appreciate you, all you guys. Come on over to my Discord right now. I'm going to go and talk to everyone in there. Uh, thank you, Dre OK. Thank you, Nick Blanco, for putting the Discord in there. Uh, if anything, if you go to, yes, uh, if you go to at Help Me Devon on my Instagram, my Discord is basically in the highlights. It's right there. You'll see it. If you go to Help Me Devon at Help Me Devon. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. Shout out to everybody on Twitch. Make sure you follow on Twitch, please. And I, I think I'm out of here. I'm beat. I'm tired. Help me Devon.info. Go get you that studio rack preset. Go get you some vocal chains and you some, some presets too. Now I appreciate you guys. That's what keeps this the, me going as far as this is concerned. Uh and keeps the channel up and growing and, and stuff like that. So love you guys. I'm out of here. Um